I have converted my car into a mini camper. I finished work today and I've got three days off in a row. I'm going to head up to Scotland. It's now 20 past nine at night. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a little bit um, nervous but really excited. So this will be the first night that I will be sleeping in my car. Um, yeah, thought I'd bring you along with me for my first mini camper trip and you can see how it goes. Um, I'd picked out this lay-by on Google Maps before I left and it's perfect, it's even better than I thought it was going to be. It's a really quiet road. I, um, I got lucky with it really. But I've set up my little bed so I'm all cosy and um, yeah, it is... 2.30 so see how tonight goes in the first night out in the mini camper it seems quite warm I've put the um, the foil insulation in the windows and it's staying quite well so yeah I'm gonna settle down turn the lights off and hopefully get a few hours so I'll see you in the morning This night was a success. I am gonna continue on now and drive up north. station freshened myself up a bit and I feel loads better so I am gonna carry on driving it feels like we're in Scotland but it kind of still feels a bit like Wales with the rolling hills so we need to head further north and get to the mountains some snacks because I'm hungry it's 10 past 11 and yeah I'm just gonna have something to eat quickly um, and then probably carry on a bit a bit more over there on the sea. It's a little bit blowy up here and it's misty at the top so I'm just going to go up there now. There's nobody on this path. There's loads of people in the car park and nobody's coming up and I don't know why. Maybe there's something up here. Well, it's a path. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up there. You got me like in a box. I adore everything you touch. Say, do you believe that we were meant to be? My body craves identity. 
green mango peach what a tease calling me So I think I'm gonna sleep in my car again tonight. I was gonna pitch my tent somewhere around here, but it's bitterly cold. I can't believe more people aren't up here. There are so many cars in the car park coming and going, but the view from up here is 10 times better than it is down there. It's such a shame. Sky. I'm staring deep into your green eyes. Well, that was fun. I am going to head to the place, well, near the place that I want to go tomorrow and try and find somewhere to pull in and settle down for the night because I still need to make food. It is already seven o'clock. Time is just flying. Fingers crossed and see where we can find. I'll show you where I am. So, so we're kind of just there's the road, and then it's just in this little foresty area by a river. I don't know, it should be alright there, shouldn't it? Unless a tree falls on me. So, this will be home for the night then. stuff I brought with me. Um, head nat just in case um, they are rife which at the moment they're not too bad. Um, that's another one just goes over your head. This one turns into like a hat so it's quite good to keep it off your face. Um, got some smidge and some Avon Spin So Soft so um, yeah they'll probably come in quite useful. So this is my food and snacks and I've put them all in these reusable food bags and um, keeps them nice and tidy um, no chance of wrappers or anything flying away so that's that and then I've got my I've got one of these as well just in case I was going to go camping one night but I'm not sure if that'll happen um, I've got my bananas and my plate and cutlery my stove and the little billy can and the big gas and a little gas Change of plans, um, I'm not cooking. <laughs> it was really midgy out there. Um, yeah, I, even though with the head net on, I couldn't really see what I was doing with the head net on. So um, yeah, I'm just not gonna cook tonight. I've got snacks, I'm not gonna die. I'll be fine. And then tomorrow morning, depending on if there's midgies, I'll cook something then. It's seven o'clock and I got a really good sleep last night. So I opened the book this morning um, thinking I'll just lie there for a few minutes <laughs> and then all the midges descended so yeah I quickly shut the boot and got out of that. Um, I've not got any bites yet. So I, <laughs> I've just brushed my teeth and I've left um, and I'm gonna go to a public toilets in Torridon I think.
I've been putting off solo trips for a while now and I don't know why because they're great <laughs> it's given me a bit more confidence to do trips by myself <sighs> I needed this I haven't had a cup of tea in two days so I'll be drinking as much as I can of them today to make up for it. That's another good thing about having a car. You're kind of more enclosed than you are in a tent, so you don't have the noises that you normally would. You can lock yourself in, so you do feel a bit safer. So yeah, I'll carry on with my day and you can come with me. It's a Saturday and it's like this. Compared to places like Dufferin Ogwa and the Ogwen Valley, it is really crazy to think that there's barely anybody about. seen it this big. Look how big they are. So fluffy. So many similarities between here and Wales. Just everything here is on a much bigger scale. Like the hare's tail, the plants, the lakes, the mountains, everything's just massive.
woken up to a beautiful view of Glenative and I am going to start getting ready to head home. I've got a big journey ahead so I will be leaving shortly. Um, not really looking forward to the drive but it has to be done so, so I'm a little bit sniffly this morning. Not got a cold, just hay fever. This was such a good um, trip, something I really wanted to do for a while, so I'm so glad I've done it and I'll be going home, which is sad. I could spend weeks and weeks here, but I only had three days, so um, I tried to make the most of, of what I had and yeah, I'll be back soon, I'm sure. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get home, but it will because it's Scotland and we're far away so yeah I'm gonna start driving now. Mm -hmm. 